Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 16th through to the 22nd. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Ni uh, Six of Swords upright. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Then we have the Nine of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have, oh boy, the Knight of Swords upright. Holy Swords, <laughs> Batman. Six of Swords in the upright position points to moving on. Now, this could be, Scorpio, moving on from emotional difficulties of the past. So this could be a metaphorical moving on. For others of you, this is a literal moving on. It could be moving uh, homes, moving offices, could point to travel. Maybe some of you are just taking up travel. Others of you are just fed up. You know, like, I'm leaving the scene. I'm done with this. I'm so over it. And you're just moving on to calmer waters and focusing in on the future. And right off the hop, we have Pajama Man. I haven't seen Pajama Man in a while. He pops up in your reading here, Scorpio. Uh, this is the Knight of Wands. I call him Pajama Man because it looks like he's wearing jammies in this particular deck. Uh, carrying on, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising. The Knight of Wands swoops in um, fast-moving energy offers. This can represent an offer. Could be an offer to go in business together. Um, but th remember, the Knight of Wands is Quicksilver. It comes in out of nowhere and sometimes can be like a little bit startling. <laughs> Knight of Wands is also very... Um, in, um, uh, I was going to say in, impatient. Yeah, it can be impatient. doesn't stick around very long to uh, deliberate. Like after he's given the offer, he doesn't wait around too long for an answer. So he is a little impatient. He's also impulsive. Um, could be representative of a friend maybe that you haven't seen in a long time. Could be Quicksilver who pops in just out of nowhere at the beginning of the week. Maybe he wants to hang out and have coffee. Maybe he wants to go on an adventure. Maybe he wants to take you on an adventure. Could be wanting to partner up with you. It could be an offer, a quick sale if you have something up for sale. If you're selling your business, your vehicle, your home or something like that. Knight of Wands can come in, swoop in, and um, just lay down that offer very quickly towards you. Could be a romantic offer for those of you as well. Could be somebody who's very passionate, fun, exciting. Next card up, Ten of Swords in the reverse position. This indicates a healing from a situation that bottomed out. Ten of Swords in the upright position. This is where we hit the wall with something this is where this was like the the straw that broke the camel's back could have been in a relationship could have been in a situation um at work it, it was something that happened that just kind of bottomed out it hit a wall and you're just like nope not doing this anymore but it's reversed now so this can indicate you're finally healing from it i see you moving away from something that could have been disturbing could have really brought you to this ten of swords in the upright but you want nothing to do with this anymore scorpios are just kind of you know shaking it off like just like uh, like water off a duck's back. We're just like, no more. Don't want that anymore. We're done with all this kind of energy. Scorpios have really uh, been through a lot this year, it seems like. And it's just like, no, you know what? Tens represent endings. And for, you know, Scorpios out there, this is, no, it hit a wall. We're done. We're good. We're moving on. Maybe accepting new offers. And moving on towards the weekend we have the nine of swords in the reverse position perfect nine of swords upright points to anxiety it points to uh, sleepless nights trying to figure out a way to deal with a, a problem a problem situation and it's like we going over and over and over and over again in our head and we just cannot seem to find the solution so when the card is inverted, this is where either a solution is presented to us or it could be the solution um, is something like we end up solving it. So the problem has been resolved either way. So the anxiety dissipates, we're finally able to get a good night's sleep, we're moving on from this energy. Now swords represent what? Uh, communication, thought, right? 
So it could be some Scorpios have just been overthinking things lately and have just sort of, you know, come to an end, maybe thinking the worst, you know, wondering the worst, or perhaps there's been communication that has gone really, really bad. It turned, uh, it turned ugly, it, tur it went south, and therefore we're just like, okay, we're not going to do this anymore, okay, we're just going to move on from that energy. And the last card you have is another sword here now it's the knight of swords in the upright position this is air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon or rising knight of swords swoops in really fast you don't see him coming you have two that's why i'm if you notice i'm speaking very rapidly through this reading scorpio is because there's high energy both of these cards are super high energy and fast moving so i feel like something is going to come in here uh, out of the blue for you scorpio this week you could end up with two separate offers if you're single and looking maybe there's two people here one could be the um knight of swords which could be air energy the other one could be a fiery passionate uh person for others of you this could represent two different offers coming in this is a written verbal offer it could be a job offer like both of these could be job offers if you're looking for work or they could be potential business partners or they could be potential romantic partners it just depends these are general reads so it just depends on your situation um, they could be offers on your home or your business if you're looking to sell. Some people could be looking to move away and so maybe they're selling their belongings and stuff like that, right? So whatever fits your scenario, this is, you know, what is going on here. But the Knight of Swords comes in out of nowhere. It could be important information coming to you, uh, Scorpio. It could be a contract where this is like something you have to sign. It's a, a verbal contract or it represents a written contract so you could be hearing something about a court case or it could be you know, like a legal matter an arbitration or something like that that comes in very quickly and you kind of need to deal with it um, it could be you know concerning um, surgery too because swords also represent surgery they can represent uh, definitely represent legal matters it could be police officers could be um, uh, lawyers, that kind of stuff, but they deal with the series. Could be someone in the military rushing in, maybe uh, somebody coming home from overseas, things like that. Could be news, important news and information about someone overseas for some of you as well. But this is a very, very fast paced energy, uh, Scorpio. That's why I think it's like everything, if it has been stagnant and you've been worrying about it, there's no time for that anymore. It's like you just boom, boom, boom. It's all about action. It's all about action and communication because that's what the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords represent. So two knights in a spread can sometimes represent a, a, a clash between two people. So there could be that going on as well. So yeah, I definitely want to hear from you Scorps in the comment section below because like I'm Scorpio as well and I'm wondering what this, is, this could be about. And if it resonates for you, please do share. So in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Angel Answers deck. What do Scorpios get within the next few weeks? So it could be this important information or contract or whatever, or the offers could be, you know, expiring within the next few weeks. Not sure it's your message. Let us know in the comment section below. But that's what I have for you, my dear Scorps. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful um, week ahead. And I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribership is free after all. Just hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.